Welcome. Welcome to Arcade Improv. Welcome to Arcade Improv. Where you can come in, but you shall never go out. Come out. That came out as not a word. <laughs> Hi, Mox. What's up, Mox? You know, you stole your spot. Yeah. You snooze or lose around here, you stand up, and the cat will take your place. Like life. Like life, like society, like frickin' everything. Have we started yet? Arcade! Improv! Arcade Improv! <laughs> Welcome to Arcade Improv. My name is Gabby. I am Casey. And, uh... Uh... It's a wonderful day to pray some Zelda. To and pray. You know, the, to pray Zelda in the wonderful, wonderful town of Kukariko. 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 Which is funny because... Yes! Oh. <laughs> you did it in the first fucking try? Dude, I've got this game in my brain. Uh, uh, you, you, what kind of voice does this guy have? I can't believe you're coming! With your speedy bus, it's been easy to kidnap Zelda. You don't look like such a bad guy, though. <laughs> On the way, because you have such quick feet. You might be good at running bash into many things. So we do. For example, those trees in this village have many useful things hanging from the branches. We'll just try it, okay? Oh, he doesn't give me shit. No. I thought he gave me something. He's an asshole. What the fuck, man? Ah. Bash to the twee. Oh, fine. Didn't did you already try that? You get like a uh, yeah, oh. five dollars. <laughs> That's like not a lot of money. It, it's not a lot of money. Um. Okay, so I guess we'll head towards the second dungeon now. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. Welcome back to Arcade Improv, everyone. Yep. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna, what the fuck we're gonna talk about, and that's the adventure. What I was going to say, yeah, earlier, because it's Kekariko, and yeah. then I realized uh, why I couldn't remember the name, because in Portuguese you say Kakariko. Kakariko. Which is the sound that you make for uh, chickens. Oh really? Yeah, Kakariko is what we say our chickens sound. The chickens. I wonder if that's based. I wonder if that's where they got the name, though. I don't know. In like. Because like, 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 I say like too much. Because they, uh, I don't know, because they pulled names from random things and there are like yeah. the cuckoos are in Kakariko. Yeah. Yeah, because the chickens are there and that's why I remember, like, how I put two and two together oh, as a geez. kid. It's uh -oh. like, oh, Kakariko, uh -oh. that's where all the chickens uh -oh, are. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. What what's going on? Oh, you're low on life. Yeah, I'm low on life. I'm feeling uh, low, you guys. Yeah. Let's 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 say things that make us happy. Uh, Puppies are cute. Puppies are cute. Um. That's that's. <laughs> don't pay no attention to the average middle name man standing by the sign. Want to see something funny? Leave him alone. <laughs> so you took my sign. <laughs> Like, come on, man! You took my sign! <laughs> what the hell, man? Give, give that back, man! It's my sign! Link being Link. AKA, just a jerk. Just a jerk. Now why, why, why did you take my sign? It's as plain as they just leave me alone. It says leave you alone, not the sign. And now he's just following me around, pissed off. Bye, buddy. And now he's gone. <laughs> Magic. Okay, we're in the desert now. Oh, uh, can I do this thing yet? There's a piece of heart up here, I think. Na, na, a piece oh. of my heart. <laughs> and by the way, that song is not by uh, Jenna. It's not by uh, Joan Jett. We, we read your we read your comments. You guys were very informative. Thank you. It was Janis Joplin. Uh, Janis Joplin uh, is someone that uh, does songs. <laughs> mm -hmm. And who is not Joan Jett? Uh -huh. Aha. It is the Book of Mormon. With it, you can read the language of the Hylia people. <laughs> okay, so in the chest is a piece of heart. Cool. That's anticlimactic. You're anticlimactic. You went, you went to a fucking cave for a piece of a heart? You know what? You know what? You're all like, I'm doing the work here in this episode, and you're just laying all chill back, like, I'm gonna come make comments on Casey's game. 
Sorry, I'm middle management right now. Yeah. Okay? I'm just standing yeah, back. Yeah, no, you're telling me to work on a Saturday. And <laughs> I'm just going to stand around and tell you what to do. Okay, buddy. I'm not happy about that, yeah. honestly. I mean, I'm you're not, not doing a good job. You're about to die. You're about to die. Whoa, what killed me? What got me? The thing from the ground that like, shows up and it's like... Uh, I had a fairy. It's fine. We're all fine here. This is why you need to buy fairy insurance, kids. He came out of nowhere, man. Fairy insurance is important. Think about your kids. What would your kids do if you died and you didn't have fairy insurance? Yeah, yeah. Take care of your kids for you. I mean, it might seem like like it's not important right now mm -hmm. because you're hip and you got a good thing going on with mm -hmm. uh, that lady from down the street and it's getting kind of serious, but maybe you get some fairy insurance because if she breaks your heart mm -hmm. and you literally die, you need a fairy to bail you out, man. Mm -hmm. You need a fairy to be there for you. It's a small investment. Of... So, wait, what was so that? So, if we didn't have the book, it's all gibberish. But if I use the book to open the way forward, make your wish here, and it will be granted. <laughs> okay. So we're wishing to open the door. I would wish for like maybe Ganon dies. Yeah, just wish for this to be over. Yeah, we want this to be done. I love this game. I don't want it to be done. <laughs> uh... Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. There we go. See, that was easy. Yeah. Now we're in the dungeon. Bum, yeah. bum, bum. And that is the only use of this book ever. Are you serious? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I should probably go get the ability to swim soon, too. I think maybe I need the treasure I missed to do it, though. Which treasure that you missed? Did you uh, miss a treasure? Not in a dungeon. Um, but yeah, we can go talk to the King of the Zoras and get the ability to swim. Laser! Laser eyes! Laser eyes! Uh, oh, nothing up there. So, uh, yeah, I... I love The Legend of Zelda, man. Um, like, there's just a spirit to it. And like some of the later games I don't necessarily love as much, but maybe I'm just an old man who's bitter, mm -hmm. misses the, the, the enthusiasm of youth. The 2D-ness of this game. No, because I mean, I love 3D Zeldas. I wasn't super into Skyward Sword though. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Ocarina of Time is a fucking classic. Yeah, yeah. Although, you know what? I love Ocarina of Time. I'm going to be controversial. I like Majora's Mask a little bit better. Really? It's the follow-up game to it. Have you played that one? Uh, I think so. It's. I think Ocarina of Time just has such a... It's, it's iconic. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, and I love Ocarina of Time. But uh, uh, Ocarina of Time was very broad-focused, and what I loved about Majora's Mask is not only was it darker for a Zelda, uh, because the fucking apocalypse happens every three days, <laughs> but it's very character-focused. And for a Zelda, that was that's very different. Like, it's very focused mm -hmm. on the individual lives and the people's arcs and everything mm -hmm. and that's i don't know there's like a lot of beauty to it because people have like really horrible things that you help them with there's this kind of like bittersweet atmosphere to it now mm -hmm. oh is this just a is there anything i can do here uh oh, i'm just locked in I don't know. Yeah. You have any games like that? Huh? What, what's what's a game that gives you the feels to play? It gives me the feels to yeah, play? Yeah, because Majora's Mask gave me the feels. I mean, I think Ocarina of a Time. Gave you feels? Yeah. It's kind of one of those games that I have such fond memories of. That's fair. You know? Um, yeah. So, is that discoloration meaning something or no? No, that's oh. like just gross wall upkeep. Oh, okay. <laughs> just janitor being lazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can I get this thing now? Oh, no, it's not out here. Okay. I swear I remember how to do this, guys. Please leave a comment telling me where to go. I'm sure I'll read it before I'm done. <laughs> um, leave a comment if you want to talk about what's your favorite food? My favorite food. Yeah, what's your favorite food? Is probably pizza. Really? Like That's... if if I were to pick a foot, so so here's here's why. Yeah. 
Um, and is it when you kind? when you t- when you say favorite, I think a food that I would need eat that I would eat at any time, any moment, any day. Okay. Um, it's not necessarily the food that gives me the most pleasure, but it's mm. a food that would be like then, okay. I can eat any time. A uh, favorite. See, I feel like that's not your favorite food then. That's so much as that's your most easy to consume food. Okay. Okay, uh, what food gives you the most pleasure? Um, good sushi. Oh, yeah, I'm all about that. Mm-hmm. Like good, fresh, delicious oh, sushi. Dude. Sushi. I Did you ever go to us when we went to Friends Sushi here? No. Uh, we went with, like, I know Kelly's gone out with us sometimes, and then a couple of the other people in our, our improv group have done it. Um, they're good. I love Friends Sushi. Yeah. Should have a sushi party. Sushi party! Woohoo! They have a new sushi place nearby, and not nearby, but yeah, yeah. And I have some coupons for it. Interesting. Hmm. We wanted to do a sushi get together. I'd be down, man. Yeah. On other other news, <laughs> eat sushi. Sushi is delicious. Yeah. Also, tip your servers. Yeah, seriously though, tip your servers. Like people will like. If they don't like their server space, they I, I don't unless they outright sabotage their meal. And I don't mean the cook screwing something up. I mean the server screwing something up. Yeah. Uh, because guess what? The server can't control what the cooks do. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's just because they're not given a living wage. Mm-hmm. Like it's kind of a messed up system. I would pay more for food if it meant I didn't have to worry about the tip. You know. Yeah. Because because technically you are. It's like they're they're living to your hands to pay however you think it's fair yeah. for this person. It's just for. kind of a messed up system. Ooh, free heart! Yay! Uh, Got another little piece of my heart, my heart, my heart. Um, you know what? Sorry, I should not sing. <laughs> uh, you sing whatever you want to sing, man. Yeah. I'm a little. Actually, I thought I could beat this one off of memory, but I'm a little lost. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I've been... Are you, are you, are you, Casey, are you as lost as Jack, though? Oh, Jack. Jack, you need to find your way. Yeah. I mean, Jack, seriously, you said you'd be here, like, 20 minutes ago. Yeah, it's kind of rude. You make commitments, you make Mm -hmm. obligations, Mm -hmm. and you keep flaking. Yeah, and you give the excuse that you're lost. Yeah. And we know you're not lost. Because you have a fucking smartphone. Yeah, and you do status updates, being like, oh, this movie's great. Mm-hmm. And we know you're not coming, man. Yeah. And, I don't know, think about maybe how your behavior affects the people around you. Yeah. And stop blaming your Charlene. shortcomings. Yeah, Charlene. Charlene and your shortcoming. Charlene is your shortcoming, honestly. Mm-hmm. That's a toxic relationship, man. Get yeah. out. Yeah, just break up with her. Yeah, you need to end it. Yeah, Jack. I don't know. know what you get out of it. Uh, or if you're just scared to move on with your life. Mm-hmm. We'll be there for you when you do. Yeah, but, so. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Until then, we just can't have you hanging around. Yeah, so... We're putting down the iron gauntlet here. Yeah, it's been tw- it's been 20 minutes, so don't even show up for now. Yeah, yeah. just, dude, just we're disappointed. Yeah. And um, we'll see you on the next episode of Arcade Improv. All right, have a good one. You, bye.